classic fall day. Uh, we've been hot, the lake is, water is warm, and then we get our first 50 or 60 degree high temperature day. That's the kind of day that's gonna make a water spout. And if you have the time and you have the desire, it's a great thing to watch. They're very interesting. Now the basic thing for a water spout is colder air over warmer water. The water is warmest in August, September, October, and the cold air from fall is starting to come in. So that's the time when we typically get all the water spouts. The air near the water is a lot warmer because the water is warm. And as that cold air moves in aloft, the cold air wants to be at the ground and the warm air is lighter and wants to be aloft. So they want to ch switch places. And as they do so, a rotation will start often. Certain years are, are better than others because certain years you might have a hot summer and so the water gets warmer. And at the same time, you might get maybe a quicker transition to fall and colder air. So whatever makes that temperature contrast between the surface water temperature and the air just above the water, whatever makes that the greatest will make more water spouts. Even though it's uh, you know rotating mildly, there could be 60, 70, 80 mile an hour winds right in the center of that water spot. Now it may only be 500 feet wide or so, but if a boat gets caught in there, it could uh, sink it, certainly if it was a small enough boat. If you wanna see a water spout, we have some classic areas in Michigan. It's a great thing to view, a great way to view mother nature's power. 